In fact, this test review produces almost two similar of answers. So if you study, you will probably ace the test. You know what that means, don't you? You won't miss any. Okay? So I'm going to go ahead and start reading. Um, Jared, can you get that first light switch, please? Thank you. Lila collected the honey from three of her beehives. She must be a beekeeper. From the first hive, she collected two-fourths gallon of honey. The last two hives yielded one-third gallon each. How many gallons of honey did Lila collect in all? What should I put a box around here? In all. In all. And it says draw a diagram to support your answer. So we, we have a pretty good diagram that we draw, don't we? What's it called? A tape diagram. Now, go ahead and draw a tape diagram, and then we're going to talk about what to put on it. First of all, do I have a total? No. No. So that's my question mark. i got to figure out my total. So you know what we're going to do. What are we going to do? Add. Add. Okay. Um, I have how many beehives? Three. So I need three parts to my tape diagram. Okay. From the first hive, she collected two-fourths. Two two Good. And then the last two hives yielded one-third gallon each. Now, my question is, is there anything I can add together before I start adding this up? One-third plus one-third. What would that be? Go ahead and write that down like this, boys and girls, okay? Now, this is just a simple addition problem. This has nothing to do with add it together and subtract from the whole, does it? Okay, so what am I going to add? Two-thirds plus two-thirds. Two okay. So I'm going to pull sticks. Cody, what's the common denominator for four and three? Twelve. Hey, Seuss, what did you write on this first row here? Uh, two fours times three. Very good. Equals twelve. Six twelves. Good. And Adam, what did you write on the second line? Um, two fours times three. That's what we just did. Oh. Two-thirds times, two-thirds times, good. So I have six plus eight equals, okay, it's an improper fraction. Oh, I love your vocabulary. So that means I change it to a mixed number, okay? My favorite way of doing that, you know what it is, don't you, boys and girls? The number bond. But if you just want to write the fractions down here, you can. Okay? I'll do it both ways so you can remember what we're doing. But I like this way because it helps me realize all the denominators are going to match, aren't they? So one whole would be what? And how many are going to be left over? Okay, so if you're choosing to write it, Without the number bond, you would write 12 twelfths plus 2 twelfths equals 1, one two and 2 twelfths. Now, guess what? Simplify. You can simplify it. Okay? So, what should I divide this fraction by? Two. two. Now, here's what kids forget. Watch me. They forget to bring the one over. And they leave the one out. And the 1 has to be there. So 2 divided by 2, what is it? 1. And 12 divided by 2. So I've got an answer. 1 and 1 sixth. And guess what? That answer has to be used down here on part B. Part B is connected to part A. So I have a total. 
boys and girls, what's my total? One and one sixth. Okay. After using some of the honey she collected for baking, Lila found that she only had three fourths gallon of honey left. How much honey did she use for baking? Support your answer using a diagram, numbers, and words. We've got this, don't we? Yeah. Okay. So, tape diagram. I have a total. What's my total? One and one sixth. And you know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking I'm going to have to change that. But we'll talk about it. So I'm going to put an equal sign there. Now, she had... She used honey for baking. And she had honey left. Am I missing anything? So two parts. She had honey left. And she used some honey. You agree? Yeah. Okay. Kind of like the lawnmower, but, and the garden question from yesterday, but we don't have to add it together. So where will I put the three-fourths? On the left. On the left. Very good. It's left. So what goes under the used? The question mark. Okay, so this isn't add it together and subtract from the whole. This is subtract from the whole, or the total, isn't it? Yeah. So when I subtract from the total, do I want to have a mixed number here? Or do I want to have an improper fraction? Mm -hmm. So this is going to be 6 6 plus 1 6 7 6. So change that to an improper fraction. Now... All I have to do is what? Subtract. Subtract. Now, I'll tell you, boys and girls, it's your choice. You can do method one or method two. Uh, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and do method one. Since it's a test, I want to keep things simple for you. But if you love method two, it's okay to use it. Look up at the board for a minute. Instead of multiplying these together in method two, I skip count by the numbers, don't I? Yeah. Okay? So if that's the method you want to use, go right ahead. I'm going to go ahead and multiply them together. Make sure you're subtracting. This is a subtraction problem. So, Lila, what is six times four? 24. So I have 28 minus 18 equals 10 24 That needs to be simplified. If you used method 2, what would you get? What's your number on top? What's your numerator? Probably 5. Okay. So if you used method 2, you do not have to, have to simplify. But if you use method 1, you do. And I'm dividing by what here? Two. So that equals five twelfths. And that's what Jesus got when he used method two. Okay? How are we doing? Good. All right. So, and that's my answer. I don't have to subtract it from the whole because that's what I just did. So easier than yesterday's lesson, isn't it? Okay, let's look at this one. This is like yesterday. So I'm going to go ahead and get my tape diagram on here. The good news is we don't have to use any information from the other side. They gave it to us. So let me read this before you start writing, okay? okay. With the remaining three-fourths gallon of honey, Lila decided to bake some loaves of bread and several batches of cookies for her bake sale. The bread needed one-sixth gallon of honey and the cookies needed one-fourth gallon. 
How much honey was left? Support your answer using a diagram, numbers, and words. Okay, so before we do anything else, I want to figure out how many parts our tape diagram has. So she made cookies, she made bread, and she had some left. Circle those numbers. So how many parts do I need? Three. Three. All right. Yasmin, do I have a total? Yeah, they actually gave it to us. With the remaining three-fourths gallon of honey. So this is not one whole, is it? No. It's three-fourths. But we'll still use the same strategy. Add it together, subtract from the total. And we can do this. So bread needed how much? Bread. Bread. And cookies needed? And do we know the left? Okay. So let's solve this. This is the same denominator as last time. I want to use method two just to practice. Okay, everyone? All right. Let's try it. So what's my strategy on a problem like this? Yeah, I'm, go I'm not going to multiply. What am I going to do with one-sixth and one four? I'm going to add them together and subtract from? Okay, so adding them together and subtract from the whole. So one-sixth plus one-fourth. Instead of multiplying six times four, I'm going to skip count. 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36. Little music this morning. A 4, 8, 12. What's the, low, what's the lowest number? 12. So 12 is the common denominator. What you could have done last time. It's okay if you don't, though. Is this what you mean by almost a little answer? Yes. Yeah, I don't know why. It just worked out this way. Okay. So this is different. OZL, 6 times what equals 12? Isaac, 4 times what equals 12? 3. So I have 2 plus 3 equals 5. And that's not my answer. That's my total for those two. And I'm going to have to get more room to solve the rest of this. So let me black this out. Hold on. Okay. So I'm halfway done with this problem, boys and girls. I added it together, and now I have to subtract from my total. What's my total? Three-fourths. Three-fourths is my total. Remember how it was one whole yesterday? Yeah. Well, today it's three-fourths. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to write three-fourths minus five-twelfths. Houston, we have a problem. Do you want 48 for a common denominator? Yeah. No. No. Neither do I. Let's do method two. So instead of multiplying four times 12, what am I going to do? Skip, Skip count. Four, eight, 12, 16, 12, 24, 36, 48. What's the lowest? Oh. Least common multiple. So, 12 is the winner again. If you watch this review, I have a feeling you're going to remember 12 is the magic number here.
Eileen, four times what equals 12? Tyler, 12 times what equals 12? Oops, that should be a 5. So 9 minus 5 equals? It can be simplified again. It can. What can I divide by? Two. No! Three. Oh, three. No! Four. 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 What was our favorite strategy yesterday? What was our favorite strategy? Divide by the numerator. Divide by the numerator. So, Morgan. And everybody else who would have chosen two, it will work. You just have to do it twice. Okay, let me show you here in a minute. So this ends up being one-third, right? Okay, let's just pretend I divide it by two. And that's not wrong. Okay, that's just going to give me two-sixths. And then I have to divide that by two again. Which would give me one-third. Okay, so both of them would have worked. All right, that's your test for tomorrow. Wow. Mm -hmm.